should I be faulted for a condition? You can, you can debate that. I'm happy with what I did. I sleep well at night. My bosses were clued in the entire way of what we would and would not do in terms of a condition. Uh, O.J. Simpson's people did at one point suggest that we even sign a document uh, that we wouldn't ask or refer to him in certain ways in the story. We, we obviously refused to do that. Of course, and they want to try to control things as much Absolutely. on their end to, to protect their his interests. There's no such thing as an interview without conditions. Yeah. They all have conditions in some way, and in sports and in politics often. The biggest condition you get is interviewing somebody while their attorney or their PR person is standing right next to them. Yeah. with the ability to jump in and say, he's not answering that, or I'm sorry, but we're not going there, or if this interview's over. There are conditions all yeah. over the place. And right. I think that there are a lot of people who are saying, you could, you should never agree to any conditions. That's, but that's, that's just- That's Pollyanna is. stuff. Yeah, and in your defense, many, many interviews are only done because there are conditions on it. Because again, right. a lot of people wouldn't even do interviews if the general policy was, you know, we won't have any restrictions on this. They just, you would see a lot less stuff on TV. You'd read about a lot less stuff. That's just not how, that's not how this business works. Again, you could criticize it, but again, if you hadn't, it wasn't perfect. And if you hadn't agreed to those, if you hadn't agreed to those restrictions, it wouldn't have happened, period. That's right. That's exactly right. Well, this is, again, this is so fascinating. So when you guys did the interview, what was it you and him? Was there anyone else there? There were four of us there, and I didn't know really how it was going to go. There were two. Um, he lives in a double-gated community. So even when you get through the first gate, you still have to have a passcode to get through the second gate, and it's armed security and everything. So we had a driver to get us into the, 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 the development uh, and the manager who set up the interview. And I didn't know if they were going to sit there the entire time and try to control it. If anybody else was going to be there, I wasn't sure. Uh, but they didn't. They let us go, and we sat there for three hours. Uh, we were interrupted only a couple of times with a phone call. Um, you know, here I think there were a couple of phone calls. Uh, he was going to go golfing later in the day and needed to arrange or find out the timing of that. So it was three pretty much three interrupted hours uh, sitting outside on a back patio. Uh, on this golf course where he lives in, in a house that's not his, he, you know, he's staying there, um, driving a car that's borrowed. And, you know, he's he doesn't, he lives very well for a guy who doesn't have anything. Um, yeah. For, and for, um, for you, that kind of evokes a lot of trust that they were willing to give you the address where he lives. So, uh, right. Well, I was like, driven there. I oh, was, I had to meet, we met somewhere. I was picked up and then I was driven there. But yeah, I mean, uh, I know what road we're on and I see the, the, num- the, yeah. the number on the house <laughs> when I'm walking in. But um, also it should be known that so many people found out where OJ Simpson was staying. And the way it was explained to me is that it's on a somewhat regular occurrence. Um, there will be helicopters flying over, you know, so people can get their shots of the, the place where OJ lives. And um, because the man, the man where he's staying, the man who owns the house where he's staying was a character witness for him and was involved in the, uh, the trial in Nevada um, when he was sentenced for, you know, as a, a bungled memorabilia heist uh, in which he was over penalized by a judge who was making sure that he got punished for Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson's deaths. Um, so, it was a highly publicized trial and this man was in the trial. So everybody knew his name and you could look up where this guy lived and that's where OJ's staying. And so the helicopters would show up and um, people from the other side of the golf course would get their long angled lenses and allow members of the media to come and take their shots of, of OJ with their still cameras. So there's been paparazzi and 